हेलो ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका झावरे हेड कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ए आई सी एस एम एस इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द केस स्टडी ऑफ वॉटरफॉल मॉडल एज वी नो वॉटरफॉल मॉडल इज वेरी बेसिक मॉडल ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट नाउ विल सी हाउ एग्जैक्टली वॉटरफॉल मॉडल वर्कस द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ वॉटरफॉल मॉडल इज रिक्वायरमेंट वी कॉल इट एज ए रिक्वायरमेंट कलेक्शन ऑल्सो द रिक्वायरमेंट इज कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट नाउ वंस रिक्वायरमेंट पार्ट इज ओवर द एनालिसिस ऑफ दैट रिक्वायरमेंट इज डन दिस वर्क इज डन बाय द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट टीम एंड डिजाइन ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट गेट रेडी वंस द डिजाइन पार्ट इज ओवर दैट पार्ट इज हैंड ओवर टू द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टीम वेर एक्चुअली डेवलपर वर्क ऑन द डिजाइन डॉक्यूमेंट्स मीन्स ऑल द फीचर्स स्पेसिफाइड इन डिजाइन डॉक्यूमेंट आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड नाउ आफ्टर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टेस्टिंग स्टार्ट हियर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एज वेल एज वाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग इज परफॉर्म एंड वी कैन कॉल इट दिस फेज एज कम्प्लीटली वेरीफिकेशन एंड वैलिडेशन फेज एंड देन the full tested product is ready then final stage is deployment and maintenance deployment is nothing but hand over or install that particular product on client site and maintenance comes after that so if we can see this particular model its picture is something like a waterfall that's why name given as a waterfall and the important thing is that just like a waterfall model once water comes down there is no scope of coming back to up so same thing is over here once it is coming down means each and every phase is very much static right so once the work is over that will be hand over no scope of again communicating back to that particular requirement and actually this is the basic disadvantage of this particular waterfall model but if we can see this particular model it consists of all the phases or all the steps which helps to develop the software that's why it is helpful or applicable only for the systems where the requirements are static or freezed and the size of the system should be a small now i'm going to explain how this waterfall model will be useful for any particular application so as a case study here i am going to consider hospital management system now if we could see this particular hospital management system word number of thought comes in our mind right everybody is thinking different but as we are thinking about a waterfall model that requirement must be freezed at initial phase only so here as the first step is the requirement so what exactly happens in a requirement phase if i am considering this hospital management so first part is actual workflow of that hospital it is very much clear for the development team what is the workflow of that hospital workflow means what suppose here the requirement given by that doctor as a hospital he wants the hospital management system but what is the nature of hospital he is having suppose here it's a very small that hospital is a small one that is only one doctor is there and he is having his team right so in has in his team he want the automation between only that receptionist the flow of receptionist and the uh, what we can say with the doctor means the system web based system they want in that only two type of a users they are expecting that is doctor as one user and receptionist as a one user so actually means once that particular patient visits to that particular hospital he has to go to the receptionist right receptionist through his login he will enter all the details of that particular patient and token or that number will be given to that patient once his number come he will visit to doctor doctor observe him then based on this particular uh, disease or uh, doctor's prediction he will put uh, now uh, fees he will charge the fees for that uh, put the fees in that portal only and he will write the prescription about for that particular uh, client or we can say um, patient 
Now once it is over, that patient has to go back to the receptionist again. Then he will check that for that token number how much fees is charged by the doctor. So based on that, he will first receive that particular collect that fees from that particular uh, client patient. Once fee paid, automatically the print option for that prescription will get enabled. and uh, then that receptionist will print that particular prescription and it will be hand over to the patient only for this two person means this for this process actually this hospital wants the automation so if you can say it's a small system now and for this system it is not going to ask Uh, add more users or not going uh, he, it should not have any facility of uh, what we can say uh, register the doctor to through that app or checking availability and all these all these options that doctor is not demanded only clearly only this automation they are having so that's why actually in this situation waterfall model is appropriate over here now in this way complete requirement of that hospital is gathered okay now next phase is analysis and design now complete requirement is now the in hand of the project management team right so now they analyze this requirement means they are they are going to consider the more detail about that requirements then whether that whatever the requirement given by the client is it feasible or not that feasibility testing will be done then finally once that requirement part is over from here also means from develop project management side also yes we can do such a type of a project if it is clear to them then they think about the represent that particular requirement into the pictorial view just like a architecture diagram data flow diagram then er diagram here also database is there and there must be a consistent this database should be a consistent so er diagram is also required then use case diagram which is uh, important for each and every product design so in this way this analysis and design part will work on this particular system then in next part implementation so it is the software module for each feature get developed so whatever design team is expecting that all features must get implemented in this particular implementation module and developer work on that now next is the testing phase comes so product is ready module wise it is ready then black box testing comes side then white box testing again validation and verification even integration testing performance te performance testing likewise all testing will be done over here and that complete product is now ready and finally that product is goes into deployment and maintenance so deployment and maintenance is directly hand over the product to the client or um, install that on their site customer client site and final and along with that the maintenance work is there so in this way actually by making use of waterfall model the hospital management system what customer required is get ready i hope it will be clear to everyone ki how that small application will be developed by making use of this waterfall model thank you all in next video i am going to explain different software development model with case studies thank you once again